still happening. Now, I'm just going to play you this because it's kind of interesting. It's from a, a doctor in New Zealand called Dr. Anthony Jordan, who's asked a rather brilliant question. So let's listen to the question and listen to Dr. Jordan's response on New Zealand TV. Uh, New Zealand radio sent in by... Um, uh, D David sent this in, so thank you, David. Hello, Steve. Thank you for calling. Yeah, uh, good afternoon. Can you hear me? Yep, yes. we can hear you. Steve, what's yes. your question? Uh, the question is, is about aspiration of the mRNA vaccine. I had mine done, but I had to go to my GP to get it done. And she advised that many people had come to that practice asking the same question. Now, there's been a peer-reviewed study in the States, and they've had a lot of people with pericarditis and myocarditis over 100,000 serious hospitalizations, um, which they believe now is a variable from this. And there's also been studies in regards to the AstraZeneca and the thrombosis, and they believe that's the same way, that it's an accidental intravenous injection. Now, Pfizer states quite clearly, and I've read through their information... Now, Steve, I'm sorry, mate, we just need a qu in question form because we've got a lot of people on the line. Okay. So what's your question? Why aren't they doing it here when Pfizer states quite clearly that it should not be done intravenously. Okay. And the only way you can tell is to pull back and aspirate the syringe ever so small to see if there's blood there. All right, hold okay. there, Steve. Here we go. Dr. Jordan, did you get so, that? It's an, yeah, it's an interesting thing. We don't traditionally aspirate back when we're injecting things into muscles just because it's quite a, a blood-rich area anyway. Uh, some people do, though. Um, but it's not necessarily a requirement in intramuscular uh, vaccination because, you know, we all know muscles have a lot of blood in it anyway. Yeah. Great. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, what an excellent question from, uh, from Steve. Excellent question. Citing peer-reviewed literature. Cut off. Guy didn't want to know. Not interested in peer-reviewed literature. Don't bother me with all this evidence, Steve. What are you telling me evidence for? And the answer from the... Uh, what was the title? Oh, doc doctor, that's right. The answer from the doctor. Um, we don't normally aspirate when we give into intramuscular injections. Wrong, doctor. Wrong. We do normally aspirate when we're giving intramuscular injections. It's just in the particular case of vaccination that um, at the moment we are not... But other intramuscular injections that we give, for example, depot phenothiazines, it's absolutely essential that we aspirate. So that's wrong. Now, the reason we don't aspirate is because it's a blood rich area anyway. I think the next question might have been on the location of the olecranon process and the glutamus maximus, because to say the muscles are blood rich area anyway, therefore we don't aspirate is such a non sequitur. Because we if it was blood rich, then we, all the more reason why we should be aspirating. So clearly you did, simply didn't know the answer. So, Steve, uh, my congratulations on an excellent question. Um, I don't know who Steve is, but if anyone does, please pass this on to him. He has my compliments on an excellent question. And, um, you know, I, I, I managed to get this question to the Irish, uh, the Irish Parliament as well. The doctor's there. And uh, I heard their response and we did play it on the channel and it, it seemed pretty clear they didn't understand the question either. So when doctors don't even understand the question, I find that a little bit concerning. So there we go. Uh, that's uh, a bit of an update and uh, I was going to say a, a, a bit of amusement from New Zealand, but it's not. It's absolutely tragic. So thank you for watching.